Hello everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownload Blog. Microsoft recently released their popular keyboard from Windows Phone here on the iPhone, and that is WordFlow. It allows you to swipe through letters similar to swipe or swift key, and it allows you to work much easier one-handedly with their special arc mode that works for both righties and lefties, and even on big or small phones. The application is available on the App Store for absolutely free, and of course we will put a link in the description below to make it easy. Now just like any keyboard, you have to install the companion app on your phone, so you will have a standalone app as well as the keyboard itself. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually get rid of the app other than having the keyboard completely gone as well. That said, there are benefits of having the app. So there is like a basic tutorial to walk you through how to install and use the keyboard. And there's customization options, including allowing you to change the theme. There's the ones that Microsoft supplies, and there's quite a few of them with hopefully more to come. Or you can even use any photo that you have on your phone, whether it's a photo you've taken or one you've downloaded online that you think would be a good background to the actual keyboard itself. If you've never installed a keyboard before on iOS, you go to Settings, General, Keyboard, and then Keyboards right here on the top. This will show you all the ones you currently have installed, and if you hit Add New Keyboard, it'll show you any that you have not added yet. Once you've installed the app, it'll show up here on this list. We also want to allow full access, which does allow that app to do more things with your phone, which some people don't like for security reasons, but it adds more benefits, including the ability to predict your contacts' names. You can also adjust this the order in which they appear when you're cycling through keyboards inside of the actual little globe icon to change keywords, which we'll look at in a second. So we're going to jump back here to the WordFlow application. You're going to get a little notification the first time saying that it cannot predict your speed because you've not really used the keyboard yet. On top, it'll show your words per minute once you start using it. On the bottom, we have the themes, the Microsoft themes, and you can just choose any of these and then hit apply on the top right side of the keyboard itself. And obviously the name is in that top left, but we're just going to stick with kind of these basic light options just for now. WordFlow also affords you the ability to create your own themes using photos from your phone. You can either use one that you've taken or one you've downloaded from online that you would think would be a good background for your keyboard. That's not something really I'm into, but for those of you who really want to customize it, that's an option. In the top left, there's a gear icon that allows you to view more settings, including auto capitalizing and predicting contacts. You can access this menu from within the keyboard as well without having to open up the full WordFlow application. So we're just gonna jump into notes and we're gonna first switch to our new keyboard. We're gonna hold down on that globe icon and go to WordFlow. If you just tap it, it'll cycle through your keyboards one by one. As I mentioned, you have two options for typing. You can either swipe through your letters or tap them one by one. What I actually really liked was the prediction engine here. It worked really well and I really liked how it could predict my contacts names. I'd start typing a first name and it would immediately follow it up with the last name that I actually had in my contacts. The other really neat thing, which is a main reason to pick it up, is this arc mode, which allows you to easily type one-handed. To access arc mode, you simply swipe on those arc icons in the top left or top right of the keyboard. Once you're done, you can swipe on it again to go back. Even in this arc mode, you have access to emojis, the numbers, and of course, the letters, so it's really handy. This is actually a really cool way to type if you are used to using your phone one-handedly, and even more useful on the largest of iPhones, like the 6 Plus or the 6S Plus. You can adjust a few settings by tapping or holding onto that globe icon in that bottom corner, such as that sounds or auto capitalization that we looked at in the app. Unfortunately, to switch themes, you have to open up the application itself. So what do you guys think of WordFlow? Is this something that you'd be interested in using? If not, what is your favorite keyboard? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, if this video was useful, please go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.